I disagree with the modern educational philosophy that seems to uh, minimize or trivialize uh, the importance of memorization. And when you dismiss that as rote learning, if there's only rote learning and nothing else, yes, there is some deficiency there. But even that rote learning in, in, uh, at a very young age, then it has its benefits because once you, let's say you memorize the Bhagavad Gita and, you know, uh, Bhagavatam at a young age when your power of memorization is very strong and you've memorized these things very nicely uh, and side by side you've been given the samskaras also, you've been given the proper devotion, you've been given the uh, proper physical sensory engagements also by which you can uh, translate that into an experience, not only rote learning then what you have memorized actually flowers from within. And with uh, time, as one moves ahead and, and gains knowledge from the outside world, including from the scriptures, mm. then that internal memorized knowledge now actually starts uh, transforming itself into realized knowledge. And it, it kind of uh, comes forth, you know, and then when you grow up and you actually start understanding the meanings, it's so easy to pick up. And it's flash, you get the whole thing, the realization. And also the process of memorization, it kind of must be stimulating some things there, some finer parts of the uh, memory and the intelligence and so on. And that enables one's intelligence to become finer. Because according to Bhagavatam and the uh, uh, Upanishads as well, uh, memory is one of the components of intelligence. Yes, in fact, uh, this is a beautiful point, Maharaj, about, about the importance of memorization. That in, if you consider that Dhyayato Vishaya and Pumsa verse also, Krishna says, Smriti Brahmashad Buddhi Nasho. So, in one sense, a recollection, a memory is the foundation of intelligence. So our intelligence can't really function significantly without having memory within it, without having something within the memory. So while rote memorization is, uh, is uh, if it, like you said, if it is complemented with something else, even if children are not able to comprehend intellectually at that time, but if it is made into a pleasant experience, uh, then that is uh, that is stimulating, that is re rejuvenating. And uh, at an older level, I think the problem with memorization comes when it's only done that much and nothing more is done. Mm. With respect to even in ordinary sense, when children remember memorize the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or the tables, the idea of speaking aloud and repeating, it has it has a special potency. And that is the way to memorize. Uh, you know, when you speak aloud and repeat, right? Mm. Now, I don't mean to say that a person who is gifted uh, with a photographic memory is necessarily very intelligent. That may yes, not be the case. That is true. Definitely. I mean, but <clears throat> uh, memory does have a, a role to play in, in intelligence. And uh, when, as you said, complemented with the other things, it, it can flower out into, into learning, into, into making a person who's truly learned, truly scholarly. Mm. 